Now, staying with India, a day ahead of the swearing in of the new government, Arun Jaitley has written to the Prime Minister elect Narendra Modi requesting to not be entrusted with formal responsibilities in the next government. According to sources, Prime Minister elect Modi will be driving down to Arun Jaitley's residence to request him to reconsider his decision and remain in the government. Jaitley had earlier put out a tweet with his statement urging Mr. Modi to be that he be relieved for some time to focus on his health. Jaitley said, quote, I have had some serious health challenges. My doctors have enabled me to emerge out of most of them. I am writing to you to formally request you that I should be allowed a reasonable time for myself, my treatment and my health and therefore not be a part of any responsibility for the present in the new government. End quote. Jaitley went on to say that he would be available for any work to informally support the government or the Bharatiya Janta Party. Now, amid rumours about his health over the past few weeks, Mr. Jaitley had appeared in several photos with the holding meetings with officials and others. He has been keeping unwell for quite some time now, especially in the large part of the last two years. He took a three-month break from work last year after undergoing a kidney transplant. Piyush Goyal had served as the interim finance minister. Jaitley resumed work in August of last year. In fact, in January this year, Jaitley unexpectedly left for the United States for a medical checkup. The interim budget, which was unveiled on February 1st, was presented by Piyush Goyal in his absence. Just yesterday, she said yes. Today, she's turned around and said no. West Bengal's Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee will not attend the swearing in ceremony of Narendra Modi as the Prime Minister on May 30th. Not just her, Kerala's Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan has also decided to skip Mr. Modi's oath-taking ceremony. He'll be sworn in for the second term as the, at the forecourt of the Rashtrapati Bhavan in the presence of leaders of the Bimstech nations, the Kyrgyz Republic and Mauritius. In her statement, Mamta Banerjee said that she would not attend the oath-taking ceremony because the event was being used to score political points. Going back on her original decision, Ms. Banerjee claimed in a tweet that the BJP has compelled her not to attend the event after repeatedly claiming in media reports that 54 workers have died in political violence in West Bengal. She said that this is completely untrue. Meanwhile, Kerala's Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan's decision came after Mamta Banerjee's statement. No specific reason was given by Mr. Vijayan's office for why he won't be travelling to Delhi on May 30th. But it's a different story when it comes to the Congress. The party president Rahul Gandhi is all set to attend the swearing-in ceremony. The Congress leaders Sonia Gandhi and Gulam Nabi Azad are also going to be in attendance. The opposition leaders who have been invited include Karnataka's Chief Minister H.D. Kumaraswamy and the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, among others.